Hello everyone, it's Karen from tuppenscolour.co.uk here. Thank you for joining me. Um, today's project is a little sweetie box which stands up all by itself, keeps itself closed. There's no sticky tape or anything on there. Uh, and when you open it, inside there sweeties. Very, very easy to make. Uh, if you'd like to stay with me, I'll show you how I put it together. I've got a piece of crisp cantaloupe cardstock which I've cut to eight and a half inches by six inches and I'm going to score it along the long side at four inches and again at eight inches. And I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score at one inch and again at five inches. I'm going to turn it again and I'm going to make a mark on the line that I just scored at the two inch point and again at the six inch point and that will help me later on. Right, so I'm going to do a bit more scoring. I've got my scoring map here and my ruler. And those marks that I just made, I'm going to join that one up to the corner. So I'm going corner to dot. And again, corner to dot. Down this side. You don't have to keep turning it around. I just find it a little bit easier. Because these days my eyesight isn't what it used to be. And corner. To dot. Oops. That should be from. That should be from to that corner. That I'm not going to worry about that. Turn it over and with my trusty bone folder I'm just going to iron out. See I did it on purpose to show you how to, how to recover from it. Okay and I'm going to get my and I'm going to chop off these little skinny bits here and here. Don't need those. And I'm going to get them out of the corners a little bit and put it on this side. I'm just going to these corners and I'm going to um, snip that here. I'm going to snip from the edge to that point of the triangle there and again on this side and I'm also going to cut down from there to there. I'm going to get my bowl folder and I'm going to confirm those holes. Again. <laughs> oh, that wasn't going to do my head in. Make sure you uh, make sure you're rubbing down the right lines because that one. And again, I'm just going to iron it out because that's all going to be covered with paper and nobody will see it. Nobody will notice. That's my story, and I am sticking to it. And that's the basic construction of the box. That's sort of the way it will go together. Um, now, 
you could just round off those corners and just stick it all down but I'm going to do something a little bit more fancy with it. So I've got my Old Faithful Big Shot and here's my piece of card which I folded so that the two bits that are going to be the top flaps are together and I'm taking one of the dies from the Framelits Labels collection. This is actually the second to largest of the Framelits and I'm, what I'm going to do is, I, because I don't want to cut out the whole shape, I just want that top edge to be a fancy edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to feed the card through the framework and I'm going to try and get it as evenly as I possibly can on both sides. And it is a little bit of a fiddle. And there may be bad language, I hope not. There is, I shall bleep myself when I come to edit. That's sort of about the way I want it. So my top plate goes over the top and I'm holding on to that to make sure that it doesn't move. Because, because I've got a let me see if it has that moved. Am I still happy? I think I am. And I'm going to roll it to the machine. I'll carefully avoid it. The cable from the light, which is bumping into my hand. And because it's a double layer, I'm going to come back. Okay. I take that away. And you can see that I've got a nice fancy edge on my box. It's easier to decorate the box when it's still flat and deconstructed. So what I've done is I've taken some paper from this set, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Stacked With Love um, and it's in the Stampin' Up! Spring Summer Catalogue. Uh, I've cut, I've taken this pattern, uh, which is Back there it is in, in all its glory and all of the papers have a different pattern on the back so on the one side they are beautiful uh, they're real red crisp cantaloupe um, uh, coastal cabana uh, and on the back they are black and white so you've got a you know you've got two very very different looks in that one stack of paper and I absolutely love it I just haven't had time to, chance to play with it before now. So I cut myself two squares of uh, of this pattern, and uh, because this area is is four inches by four inches, uh, I cut this to two uh, to three and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And rather than spend a lot of time trying to measure where the centre was at the bottom, I just folded it in half. And I just pinched it. So I'm just making a mark there that I can see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my cutter. Now, if you're good with a carving knife or you're good with scissors, you might prefer to do it that way. But I'm a menace to shipping with a carving knife in my hand and I can't cut straight with scissors to save my life. So this, uh, this little gadget here, my stamping trimmer, is my right arm. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that my, the little dent that I made is in the cutting channel here you probably can't see it I can and um, that the top corner is also in the cutting channel and I'm going to take my cutting blade and make sure that I'm square and I'm just going to chop that triangle off and then I'm going to turn it over and now this time it's a little bit easier because I've got to go I can go corner to corner so if I'm going to worry about trying to, to line up a um, to, to line up a, a small little mark again to one corner and there we are so I've already done that on the other piece so I've now got two large triangles and four small right angle triangles and I'm going to stick those down to the front of the card with my with my snail which has gone AWOL so I'm just going to pause. Oh, there it is. I was just going to pause while I went and found it. And it was right under my nose all the time. 
isn't that frustrating. So here we go with the snail. Snail is fine for this because it's just paper to card. I'm just going to centre that into the edge there. Now to join the front of the box to the back of the box, snail won't do it. So you're either going to need sticky strip or uh, a wet glue, or in this case, I'm going to be using fast food. So put it down and take off. There. And there is the start of your box. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes and embellish this. So I'll see the other side of the break. Right, so uh, nearly time to finish this little box off now. Um, while I was off camera, I cut one of our, uh, our little doilies in half and I've put half on either side of the box. Now on that side, I put a little bit of sticky strip because I'm going to attach some ribbon around the top there and that will help me. Uh, but before I do that, I want to do um, some. I want to do some stamping. So I decided that I'm going to be using this stamp set, which is called Work of Art, and I'm going to be, be used in just for and you because that's the sentiment I want to have in my card. And I've got a bit of scrap whisper white, which I've used for other things, which has probably got something messy on the back of it because that's what tends to happen. And this is real red. In with my just four. And line up with the new underneath. And I've got my one and a half inch circle punch. Oops. Got the shakes. I must need more tea. before I put my fingers in it because it's been known to happen. Uh, right, so again while I was off camera I also cut out um, a piece of our diamond glitter paper with my one and three quarter inch scallop punch and I'm going to layer that up on to that. Uh, if I am I might find my I'm going to put it down with a bit of um, I'm going to put it with a bit of snail for now just so that you haven't to go, got to watch me hunting through my uh, hunting through my, my possessions for my wet glue but really because we're going on to because we're going on to the glittery paper uh, it could really do with something with a little bit more authority something like a wet glue, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, we will leave it where it is. And we're going to put that on the front of our doily. Snail has decided, come on play. No, needs needs a little bit more and I decided to put on uh, actually some of the um, the crisp cantaloupe polyester ribbon which is one of the one of the things that's in the embellishment pack from uh, it, the Chicken celebration so uh, 
I went ahead before time and applied some sticky strip to the reverse of this. sticky strip just to make it all secure. I don't need it any longer than that. That will do. Okay. Oh. On the sticky strip you do need to make sure that you get it in the right place. Because if you don't, um, it's about the only thing that will get it off in America they do a product called Undo, which we can't get in the UK, but what we do have in the UK is um, cigarette lighter fluid. It's actually made of um, it's actually naphtha, which is a chemical, and it will dissolve the um, it will dissolve away the adhesive. Uh, and when it dries it won't have marked your paper, which is pretty pretty damn clever. Okay. So to finish off the box, now if you want a slightly thinner box you can trim you can trim these edges down so that you get a narrower box. But I rather like the the, the, the square the square bottom. So let's see how do I want this to be? Let's see in the side, yes. So I'm going to put sticky strip on that side and again could be wet glue. Could use some fins, uh, but you want something that's a bit, you know, that's a bit stickier than your actual snail. Because snail is great for for lightweight projects, and it's not so good. It's not so good for card to card. It's not really heavy enough. It's not really sticky enough. Right, so I'm fold that one in. I'm going to fold that one in. Get the somewhere in the lighter. Told you that'd be bad language. <laughs> okay. oh. The thing I hate about a boat sticky strip is the way that the red liner sticks to your fingers. Open my box. And that is how you open the box, you kind of squeeze it. It will stay closed. Right, one more thing before I before I pop the sweeties in. And I think I'm going to have a little pearl in the middle of the O the just for you. Just because just because I can. So what am I going to fill it with? Well, um, I've got some Hershey scissors. Uh, you can get them in the United Kingdom. I got these in Alsa. Uh, my husband really doesn't like them, so I don't mind. They're my food. There you are. Nice little, nice little box, uh, little treat box. Um, I may, I may go and put a ribbon on. Uh, you know, I may go put a bow on there. I might. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, there it is. So, thank you for watching. Uh, my blog address with a direct link to this project is underneath the video. Uh, my blog is tuppenscoloured.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll join me again soon. Goodbye.